Hi, my name is Blash and I'm a product manager at Metril. In this Mason video tutorial, I'm going to guide you through the first installation of Metril Electrical Safety Manager software. Um, there are few options from where you can run the installation. The first option is to run it from the belonging CD. But of course, uh, in case uh, you don't have a, um, a CD-ROM unit in your laptop, you can use uh, the second option. So the second option is to go to uh, Metril website, www.metril.si. Um, where you will go um, under the downloads and search for product related downloads. Of course, uh, for this operation, you will have to be uh, logged into our uh, website with an account. So let's go under downloads, product related downloads. And uh, all we have to uh, do now is to enter our product code here. So this is in our case, MI3360 and um, click search for downloads. So this search uh, will now uh, return us uh, all product related downloads. And um, uh, of course you can also find here PC software, uh, material electrical safety manager and uh, uh, click download to the PC. After successful uh, download, search for the file and execute the unzip option. Then, of course, uh, the third option uh, is currently available only for a few new instruments, but uh, in short time, uh, it will be available for all material new generation test instruments. So in case that you have uh, received uh, the following uh, paper um, together with your instrument, you can either, uh, either scan the uh, QR code or go to the website uh, this would be dots.material.si, uh, which is uh, actually our uh, documentation center of uh, these new products. And uh, inside uh, the uh, search uh, window, enter your eight uh, digit serial number of your instrument and search for downloads. Uh, this will, of course, uh, return all product related uh, downloads, uh, including instruction manuals, uh, quick guides, uh, data sheets, and a part of uh, this um, uh, documentation center is also our software. So again, click on download um, the latest version of uh, MESM software. Uh, you can also uh, check uh, the release notes. So download. And of course, uh, after successful download, again, uh, the best option is to uh, unzip uh, this file. After the unzip operation uh, is performed, we can simply start with the installation. So now um, we will run this uh, setup exe file, but of course, um, even before we start, we can connect also the test instrument with the USB cable. Um, this will uh, enable us later on the, uh, the this um, first time wizard, which will guide us to complete the installation itself. So now we proceed with yes. Um, of course, we want to proceed again, yes. Uh, in this, um, mm, Third step, now we can also select our preferred uh, language. There are quite few options available. Um, I will, for this uh, uh, presentation, I will use the English uh, version and proceed with uh, OK. Of course, if you agree with uh, our end user license agreement, you can now uh, confirm it here and uh, proceed with next. Uh, in this uh, part, um, you have the option to choose your uh, preferred uh, destination um, uh, for installing uh, Mason software on your PC. Uh, if you are satisfied with the default location, just proceed with uh, next. Um, now it's also the option to create a desktop uh, shortcut and to associate all um, Mason files uh, with the Mason uh, software. 
So I proceed with next and uh, install. The installation process uh, will now take uh, maybe a minute or two. And uh, during this uh, installation, you can of course observe the progress, uh, progress bar to see uh, how far with the installation, um, uh, how far it's, uh, the installation itself, it's already been processed. So now that installation is finished, um, uh, we proceed with the next and uh, uh, finish. This will also install our drivers, uh, start Mason software, and of course also start the uh, first time uh, wizard. Uh, proceed with finish. Now the Mason software is being started. And uh, the, this uh, welcome to the instrument pairing wizard also appears. So we proceed with uh, next, uh, then select the option pair my instrument, which will automatically search for our connected instrument and pair it. So we can see that uh, uh, our test instrument is MI3360. We can also see the uh, current firmware version of the instrument. And um, of course we proceed with the next. Uh, we could uh, search also for the uh, upgrade of uh, instrument uh, firmware, but uh, as I know that uh, uh, firmware has the latest firmware version, the, the instrument has the latest firmware version, I will simply proceed with, with next and finish. This has now uh, finished uh, our um, PC software installation. Um, thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next one.